Morning, Tony Andro's kitchen. Today is Sunday. I, I woke up three o'clock in the morning. Okay, and I had a hot shower and I am gonna do something new today with coconut and condensed milk. You need to be careful. I put two I put two coffee cups, full coffee cups, like this one. Coconut, that's about 200 and something gram. Close to 300, I would suppose, but let's say 200. I didn't weigh them. But you can put two big coffee cups like this. With coconuts, two tablespoons of vanilla essence. So what I'm doing now, I tell you exactly, because you don't want them too weak, Okay, you don't want them too weak and you don't want the coconut to dry either. So I'm gonna mix it with my hand and I show you how it should come, okay? Put a glove on because you get a sticky hand, all right? So there you are. Ah, oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So I put a little bit more milk, round about, I say, round about three quarter of a cup of uh, condensed milk and don't put too much, okay? I'll show you. In a minute I will show you, yeah, about just put half a cup and if it's too dry put a bit more but don't put too much because you don't want them too, uh, too soft and too dry, okay? So what I'll do with this one, if you want to you can put crushed nuts with it Pecan nuts, Brazil nuts, you know, almond nuts, as long as they are crushed. So what I do, what I do here, this is going to be coated with chocolate, okay? Now, you can make them as chocolate bar, or you can make them round, a ball. I will show you. So, this is mixed all right, as you can see, see that? You squash them like that, and if they don't feel dry, it's all right. And then you put them into a bowl like that, and they are perfect. So don't make them too dry, and don't make them too, too liquidy, just like that, look. So, and here I've got a tray with glad wrap, which I'm going to put the balls in here, like that. See, look. Okay, maybe I can go far, I don't know yet. Let's have a look if I need to go a bit further so you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. So what I, what I meant to say is when you put, I put nearly half a cup of condensed milk with two large coffee cup of um, coconut. So when you press it like that, see that? It's a bit sticky, that's good enough. So what you do, put them on your hand and roll them into a ball, like that. Don't press them, just, just nice, don't press them, okay? Like that, see? You gotta press them a tiny bit, but not much, okay? As I put it too big, this one, see? And that's not good to put it too big. So you can't round it, but you can, look, see? You need to put a tiny bit of oil in your hand if you want to, but you don't, you don't have to look. Put them like that. Put them on your glad wrap. Okay. Like that and squash them a bit. This is just coconut vanilla essence. You can put almond essence if you like it. You can put orange essence if you like it. You can put strawberry oil. Now you can color them if you like it, but because I'm making them into chocolate, I'm not going to color nothing. See how I made them, how nice? This is my first time, okay? But I always succeed for some reason, because I'm a food lover. And when you're a food lover, most of the time you do succeed, you know? So... Okay, I just get some tissues. I can, yes. There you 
Should I? Okay. So, when you, uh, see, you roll them into a ball like that. Don't squash them, just keep rolling. Okay? Have a look. Beautiful. Aren't they? But don't squash. Just roll, roll them gently. Be kind. Be kind, have respect. You don't have to make them big, because if you make them big, it takes longer to roll them. So press them a bit like that first. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing, like that, and then round them. See? Can't. Just don't press, because if you press, you break. Okay, just nice. You can press them, you can press them with your hands until, like this, see? Like that. Press them slowly. I teach you the best, you know, how I know, of course. The best for me, so it has to be the best for you. Make it like that and then round it, see? Round it to a ball and you can make them as a bar too, a long bar. So because they make them round, it's easy and nicer for the children to eat because uh, there's no cooking, there's no baking and there's no frying. So you see, you press them like that slowly, like even with one hand, you press them slowly like that and then round them. See? Okay? One to mix and this one after I wash my hands. So you've got plenty here. You press them. Press them like that. You can press them with my hand too. If you want to with the gloves or whatever. And then round them. And you make them into a solid ball. When you make them into a solid ball, Put them in the fridge for a couple of hours, so it gets uh, chilled, okay, it gets chilled and it, uh, when you dip them in the chocolate, the chocolate will dry uh, immediately, not for very, uh, not very long, you know, so it costs you maybe two dollar all, but you can't buy them for two dollar, the chocolate, because you buy one bar over nearly two dollars these days anyway so you know so you got three six nine you got 12 balls out of it but if you put more you need to put more condensed milk look at that they look beautiful they look good and they look sensational and now before i wash my hands and touch them It tastes beautiful. No kidding. Now I wash my hands. Okay. Ooh, then they put milk in there. There you are. That's it. And now I switch the video off. Okay. This is Tony and Rose Kitchen. There is 12 little balls. They go in the fridge. Okay, they go in the fridge. A couple of hours later, or four hours, or six hours, whenever you want. Okay, but don't leave them too uh, too many hours. Melt the chocolate. I will do another video after to show you how they come. How they come. Okay, may God bless you. God be with you. Have a beautiful day. And that's the only thing I can pass the time since my wife died. If I cook. I'm a bit of a different person. If I don't cook, I go downhill. God bless you.